Hello there. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Stephanie and I will be your yoga teacher for today. Today is day number 23 and we're going to be so serene. We're going to start in just a nice easy seat. So meet me on your mat in your most comfy easy seat. If you like to sit up on a block, please get the block under your sits bones. And if you like to sit on a blanket, go ahead and get that blanket. Now, normally I take my left foot in closest to me. Today I'm doing the opposite. So, if you normally cross your left first, cross your right first. Once you get here, go ahead and grow the crown of the head nice and tall towards the ceiling and close those eyes down. Take a big roll of those shoulders going back. Take you a big inhale and exhale. Bringing the awareness to the breath right now. Allowing yourself to ground to the mat. Dropping everything we have to do. And only focusing on right here and right now. Calming it down just a little bit. Loving the body through easy movements today. I'm going to do cat cow here in the seated position. You can flutter your eyes open. The easiest way for me to do this is my hands on my knees to kind of help me push and pull through them. So on our inhale, we puff the chest, gaze looks up. And when we round through for cat, we exhale. And inhale, come up through cow, pushing that chest forward, arching that spine. And exhale, round through. Do a few of these with your own breath. Getting that spine nice and warm here. And matching that movement with the breath. Do one more round. Oh. And everybody meets back in our easy seat. Go ahead and inhale the arms up and overhead. Grab that left wrist and pull it over towards the right. Keep the chest lifted. Gaze is up. No collapsing or rounding here. Inhaling and exhaling fully through the belly. Inhale back to center. Grab that right arm with the left hand and pull over to the left. Keeping that gaze lifted, chest is lifted. We are smiling, happy yogis. And inhale, back to center. Beautiful, you can drop those arms down to the mat in front of you. And let's go ahead and walk our hands forward. Seeing what this feels like today, just come in where you are. Feeling this on one of your hips, maybe both of them are pulling. Breathe, gentle, calm, peaceful, serene. Sitting in these poses can be challenging. But our patience is our attitude towards our progress. So 
if we are very impatient, we probably won't get very far. But if we love ourselves and practice the patience and keep showing up, real progress happens, not only in the physical body, but in the mental aspects of our minds. Beautiful. We're going to slowly walk up and we're going to switch the feet. So if you have the right back, let's go and pull the left back and right forward. Okay. It's going to feel weird. It's just, it's just different. This is my normal way. <laughs> so we're back to normal. All of us should be back to normal now. And let's go and walk our hands forward here. You may find that you get a little deeper, of course, because once we do something all the time, like sitting with the right foot or the left foot in, our bodies are used to this way. They weren't as used to uh, the other way. <laughs> So once you come here and you meet your edge, we breathe. We say some thank yous to the body, allowing us to be here and to move. And slowly we walk back up with grace and with ease. Let's slowly meet in our all fours position, taking our time to get here today, making sure that our hips are over our knees, our shoulders are over our wrists, gaze is in between the thumbs. Go ahead and set yourself up here. Nice neutral spine. And allow your next inhale to sweep that right hand up towards the sky. And on the exhale, we come through threading the needle. So we're coming to lay on this right shoulder here. Left hand can stay above our head. A little bit of support there. And we breathe. And ever so slowly, we're going to push ourselves back up. Right hand goes back up towards the ceiling. And release. Very nice. Go ahead and get your center back on here, finding our all fours. And on your next inhale, sweep that left hand up towards the ceiling. And exhale, we round and we thread that needle. And we're on the left shoulder. Right hand can go up above our head here, a little support. And ever so slowly, sweep that left hand back up towards the ceiling. Very nice. Coming back in for our all fours here. And ever so gently, we're going to step the right foot up in between the hands. Low lunge action here. Hands are staying on the mat. Feeling this all in the left hip flexor. Making sure that your ankle or your knee is not over that ankle. And exhale, we push back square hips into our half splits. Right toes up towards the ceiling. Breathe. And 
I'm going to go ahead and roll forward onto that front right foot. Plant the left hand beside that right foot and sweep your right arm up towards the sky. A little twist here. Breathing. Beautiful. Can plant that hand beside that right foot and step that right foot back to our all fours position. Very nice. Stay on your center here again. Slow. Serene. No power. No push. And gently we can put the left foot up in between the hands. Coming in for this low lunge here, feeling this all in that right hip flexor. Making sure once again that this knee is not over this ankle, okay? We don't ever want that to happen. We can have our ankle above that knee or in front of that knee, but this is what we don't want to see. Okay, I, I cannot stress this part enough. We really want it in a parallel line, but I would rather see your ankle in front. Go ahead and push back, half splits, left feet towards that ceiling. Beautiful. Breathe into that left hip. Dropping in right here. And roll forward onto that left foot. Right hand plants beside that left foot. Left hand up towards the ceiling. Got to get some twisty in here. The back knee is down though, so this should be a gentle twist. Beautiful. We're going to frame that foot. Step it back. Find in this all fours position. Let's go ahead and send those hips back towards those heels, coming in for our child's pose. Forehead to the mat. Take you a few inhales and exhales through the nose here. On your next inhale, we push up, send those legs to one side, and sit back. Here is your opportunity to rock and roll. If you want to find the child inside, you can do a little gentle rock. It doesn't have to be all the way up, and it can just be left or right here. Maybe more like a gentle sway, hugging those knees in. And let's go ahead and drop the left leg down. Interlace the hands behind that right leg. And let's just pull. Make sure you have active feet, whether they're flexed or pointed, up to you. As long as they're active here. I would always rather see flexed feet, but I know that we have some dancers that like to point them toes. So always whatever makes you feel good is what's best. We're just stretching all down these legs and the back, even though it may not feel like it. This helps low back pain tremendously. And as always, wherever you are, you be all the way there. No judgments on yourself, on your body. We accept it and we love it. Keep coming back for more. Let's go ahead and open it out to the right now. Keeping that left hand on that left hip to make sure it stays down on the mat. A little bend in that right leg is going to be amazing. No reason to push through that. Very nice. Back to center. Bend that knee. Take it across the body. Little supine twist action here. Right hand goes out long, gaze goes towards it. If you had that left or that right leg straight, stretching it, you could play with trying to stretch it here, taking that 
left hand to that right leg. Just seeing what that feels like. Breathing and smiling. So nice. Inhale. Slow as I ever back to center, hugging both of those knees in again, taking that little sway left or right, and sending that right leg down, interlacing the hands behind the left, and pulling on that left leg. Whoo, this leg is way tighter today. It's okay, that's where we are. That bend in that left leg is amazing. Breathe. Once you feel good there, you can go ahead and open it up. Out to the left, right hand on that right hip bone. Making sure it stays on that mat. So yummy. Hug that knee in. Take it across the body. Left hand out long. Gaze goes towards that left hand. And if you try to straighten the leg on the other side, I'd like you to try to straighten it on this side. Breathe. And ever so gently, come back, hugging those knees in, sway and left to right. Let's go ahead and send those legs out long, coming in for Shavasana here. Tucking those shoulder blades, palms face up, letting it all go, finding that serene. I hope that you feel calm, peaceful, and grounded within yourself. Stay here as long as you wish, as always. A good five minutes would be fantastic, but I know 15 minutes is short, but we got it in and that's all that matters. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you back on the mat tomorrow. Namaste.